Hey, good evening guys. It's Deb with Art and Grace and tonight I want to show you something fun I've got to paint on. I'm really excited to paint this little bird and I've got the little phrase um, make a beautiful, make a joyful noise. Sorry, I forgot what I wrote. Um, based on the Bible verse, but you know, it goes, it just goes for, I think it's year round. We need to be reminded of truths and so you could use this for a gift or Hang it in your own home. I'm trying to check and see if I can get comments tonight. It's been really hit or miss. I've been, you know, getting one here and there. Hi, Linda. You're my first one I can see. Awesome. Glad. Okay. I'm going to get started and go ahead and get my paints ready. And this is going to be really colorful. You know that I love colorful. And, um, but I have a surprise for you guys. As I'm painting, I'm going to tell you about that I just love, you know, painting on anything other than just canvas. I mean, I love painting on canvas too, but you know, I get bored and I like to change it up. So I do ceramics, glass, lots of wood, you know, just whatever I have access to really. And I found a great deal on these little wood um, palette boards. And so I'm gonna paint on this tonight and show you how fun and how easy and I'm thinking maybe y'all want to do one too. Of course, if you can um, grab one of these quickly, you could even make yours tomorrow and give it as a gift for Mother's Day. So, you know, if you're quick. And so I'm just going to go in here with my brush and some white paint for the base. You can use chalk paint or this is actually just white acrylic paint. Um, and it will work just fine, just kind of to have a good base on it. And so that my colors don't soak right up into the wood. And all I've done is I used a tracer and I just traced it out with chalk. And so I can stay in the lines. And tracers are, are nice if you don't feel comfortable drawing. I actually just sketched it right out, you know, on here. Um, but if you don't feel comfortable, then use the tracers that I provide, and that way you don't have to stress about it, right? So when you when you pop on here with me, say hi. I've only seen Linda's comments, so I'm hoping that some other ones will pop up. And if not, I'll look at them when I'm done here. But I hope that you guys are having a good Friday. And ready for a really good weekend. Does anybody have any good plans? I mean, it's Mother's Day weekend, so I bet some of y'all will be visiting family, visiting your moms, or at least maybe talking to them on the phone if they're still with us. My mom is not, so um, this is the first year that I am actually okay talking about it, like not crying. So, um, you know, it, it gets a little easier as time goes by. You don't ever get over it and you don't ever forget, but I can at least talk about her without crying now. <laughs> um, some days I still get emotional. It's crazy. It's crazy that, you know, even when a parent is elderly and, you know, you you're actually understand that they do need to go ahead and go because they're, they're miserable and things, it's still just so, so hard hurtful and hard to go through. So, you know, um, you got to give yourself grace and allow yourself to be sad when you need to be sad. But my mom was a, a believer and so I know she's with Jesus and I'm, I'm happy for her to be healed. So anyway, I'm, I'm at a point where I can talk about her now and think about her and, and you know, tell stories and not cry. And so that's, that's good. That's progress. But I guess I just wanted to give you hope that if you're in a position of, of a tender loss, maybe it hasn't been very long, um, just know, yes, it's hard. And, you know, go ahead and feel the feelings and cry, go off in your closet or wherever if you need to, but it will get better. You know, time does heal those, those wounds, just like, just like a fleshly wound that takes time and it's tender for a long time, but you know, we get through it, we do. And it's always good to have support. So find people that support you and, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I'm 
I'm sorry, guys. I'm outside a lot, so there's allergy stuff going on. And that is just watered down tea. It's not very good. I sure wish I could see my comments. I know every time I get off, I think well, there's probably not any comments, but there are. So y'all just keep, keep talking to me and I'll see them when I'm done. So really, I'm just getting a, a little base on here so that my colors pop better. And, and that's about it. These are just acrylic paints that I'm using. And I've only used this one paintbrush. It's a round number six, it looks like. Seven. Looks like a round seven. And um, you don't need a lot of brushes and you don't need a lot of, you know, of paint colors even. You can buy just basics and mix it. I've got a color mixing chart if you need it. Just let me know and I'll, I'll message it to you. Um, so that you can just mix your own colors. But, you know, I use DecoArt. Americana and I get them at Michael's when they're on sale. So, you know, the two ounce size is like a dollar 19 when it's on sale and you know That way I have all the colors and I don't have to worry about mixing and getting a certain a certain color I can just use those You guys tell me what what are some of your favorite colors? Um, ooh, I want to be sure y'all can see I hope that y'all have been able to see and I see a comment Oh, good. Hi. Hi, Teresa from North Carolina. Glad you're here tonight. So, Glenda, good news. I'm offering these kits now. So, it comes with the palette board, and let me show you how nice it is. So, it's already got the jute cord on the back and put together well. It's glued and nailed, so it's not going anywhere. Let me grab um, a measuring tape. Here's a ruler that's faster. So let's see, it is 10, it's about 10 by 10. So it's a good size, perfect size really, um, to just hang in your home. It'd be great in the kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, anywhere, entryway. And you, here's the neat thing, is it comes with the palette board, your tracer, all of the paints you need, and two brushes. So when you get this kit, you have everything you need except um, water. Like you'd need a cup of water and a you know paper towel, but, but basically you can sit down and start painting. So these kits are 25 for everything that I said was included. Um, and then if you are in grace, so ladies that are in grace, you get $5 off, so it's 20 for you guys. So y'all just let me know. You can put in the comments that you want one. I do have a limited amount, but I have about um, 15 to 20 probably, maybe 15. So, um, you know, there's plenty to go around if y'all want some. Let's see, I think they make fantastic gifts. Hi, Becky. Oh, do you? Yeah, poor Linda. I know you've been busy with your hubby and taking care of him, I'm sure. So, but what I was going to say is, um, you know, you guys know you paint with me a lot probably, but if you don't know, I'm super, I like to share. So if you don't prefer this design that I'm doing tonight, let me know and I will find you a design. I have tons of things. I have lots of new things coming too. Sunflowers, some Americana stuff. So, um, you know, if, if you decide you don't love the design that I'm doing, then I can find you a design that you like and include that, you know, you don't have to do the bird. But anyway, I think it's a fantastic little gift or just for yourself. And what I love, I always say this, you know, I, I think it's great to not have to go find everything. You can, you can just get your box and it has everything included. And I chose a bird because my mom really loved birds and towards the end of her life, um, you know, when people have Alzheimer's, there's not a lot that they can really do anymore. They don't understand. And so anyway, that was one of the things that I discovered that she, you know, enjoyed and that we could do together and talk about it. So we, I got her a bird feeder that stuck onto her window so they would fly up and get the bird feed, you know, and she could see it right there through her window. 
And then on pretty days, of course, we went outside and did the same thing. And, and just, we spent a lot of hours uh, looking at birds and talking about birds and, you know, all of that good stuff. So for Mother's Day, I'm kind of doing this in honor of her. And blue was her favorite color, and that's why I chose the blue. This is Bahama Blue, one of my very favorite deco art colors. Isn't that pretty color? But you know what else, uh, like a rooster would be cute on here. There's a lot of things you could paint on these and it doesn't have to be a bird. So the last comment I see is Linda doing laundry. So y'all, I hope that that is really the last one and I'm not just not getting them again. But you don't just have to kind of go with the flow because things are a little wacky with Facebook right lately. We're just having to kind of take what we can get when we can get it. I think this is purple pizzazz. Let me look at the name. No, this is magenta. I was trying to decide as I'm doing this whether to do all of the I think I will do them different colors. You know, you can do these however you want to. I'm gonna look at Facebook and see if maybe comments I can see there. Cause I'd ask y'all what you're doing for Mother's Day or this weekend and I would love to see if y'all answered. I like knowing what everybody's doing. Hi, Tony. Oh, thank you, Linda. Oh, happy Mother's Day to you. Hi, Madeline, how are you? I love birds too. I could sit and watch them all day, really. You have company coming next weekend, Becky? That's, that's about the only time my house gets like really clean. I've told y'all before, if you've followed for long, I call it made clean where, you know, like, spotless top to bottom and that usually only happens you know when when company's coming otherwise it's it's just clean just a regular clean not not the special top to bottom ceiling fans baseboards all that good stuff Oh, good, Becky. I'm glad. I tell you, I sure wish I could go back. And you know the times that you think, I just don't have time to go by and see my mom today. I mean, I used to think that all the time because there was a point where we lived really close, like within 30 minutes from her. And I worked close to her house. So after work, I could stop by there, but you know how you're tired after work, and so so many days I would just be like, I'm just too tired, I'm going home. And boy, if I could have those days back. But I think we're all doing the best we can, you know, at the time. But my daughter is um, a really big family person and my son's girlfriend is as well. So I'm hoping that we can, you know, keep everybody together and, 
and I won't, I don't know, I just, I've just really discovered how important family is and how not to take the time for granted because, you, you know, we don't know how long we have and nobody's guaranteed to old age, so. Anyway, what do y'all think of my color choices? <laughs> is anybody surprised? <laughs> I always go for the really bright, fun, happy colors. Thanks, Teresa. How are you tonight? right Tony oh sorry guys I like to tell y'all this is sour apple I love sour apple um, this one is bright salmon you've seen me use this a bunch and then I'm trying to think what I want for that one um, hmm. I could do you know I love this um, bluegrass green it's super pretty and it's a it's a pretty teal I could do yellow the yellow that I have is a little bit light. I don't know. Kind of want that teal. What do y'all think of the teal? It's different than the blue for sure. <clears throat> I have mermaid tail too. Let me see the difference in these two. This one has a little more green. This one right here has a little more green. This one is a more of a dark blue, but it's a it's a teal. So I've got bluegrass green or mermaid tail. I think I'm gonna do this bluegrass green. I love it. I hope y'all do. And I haven't opened it yet, so let's see. I'm just, I'm, I've only used two brushes so far, just these two round brushes. Isn't that pretty? I love this color. And since I put that white base, the colors just are really popping good. You do, Tony? What have you painted lately, Tony? Tony owns the painted Roadrunner. And so she is always painting as well. It's, it's really fun to get to visit with our friends that also paint and share ideas and see what they're doing. I'm just mixing a little with this brown to lighten it up because my wood is so, this it's basically the same color as the brown. So I'm gonna do kind of a light brown. I might even add a little green in it and then I'll have to highlight and shade and all that to, to get it to stand out from the board. Oh, you did a door hanger? You'll see that uh, it's backwards thank you Tony anything I paint y'all are welcome to paint or um, change it up and make it your own
Let's make this look more like a tree bark, I guess, or a... I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of green in here too. And then we'll do some leaves. Oh, Tony, man, I just, I can't wait to see, see her and everybody else. And, you know, I don't know. I think about that sometimes. I don't know what people can see or know, but I know that she is so, so much better off. I mean, no comparison. She is just loving life right now. So um, she wouldn't come back if she could. And that's how we want it. You know, we want, that's, we'll just, we'll be there ourselves one day. So all good. I love painting upside down. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I, I've even been known, like I'll, I don't know, I just, even outside or something, I'll be doing something and I'll, before I know it, I'm painting upside down and I'm like, why am I doing this? I'm not live. But I actually, I paint this way a lot so that y'all can see what I'm doing better. Um, and then sometimes I literally just do it not even thinking, I don't know. Trying to get a better angle at something and the next thing I know I haven't changed back. Gotta hold it up to see if I need, I think I need a couple of leaves over here. And I'm gonna go back and add um, some other color on here, like green, a uh, light green, neon green or lime green. I just like to brush it on like this. Don't overthink it, just kind of plop it on and the, let the two kind of mix together. Thank you. Hi, Tracy. How are you? I love when y'all pop on with me. Thank you. Thanks for the hearts. I just saw them go by. Oh, yeah, Tony, isn't it? For sure. I just love y'all. Oh, hi, Lisa. How are you? Thank you. I love having y'all, I really do. Um, one day we're gonna do like a retreat and we'll all meet together and have tables set up. We'll all be painting, we'll eat. I just, I have a vision, so it may take me a little bit to get there, but we'll do it. Let's see, I need black. Oh, what color for his legs? Orange and beak. Need, um, you know, I don't like really realistic, so. <laughs> I mean, they're probably not flat orange, but that's what his are, his are gonna be. So I mentioned earlier, if anybody is interested in one of these kits, it comes with the, um, the wood base here and it does have jute attached so you can just hang it right up. 
Let me show you the back. It's 10 by 10. And you get the, the, the wood base and all of the paints that you need and a tracer. And if you don't want to do the bird, you just let me know because I have a ton of tracers for all kind of other things. I have a sunflower that's fixing to come out. I have something patriotic coming. And then, of course, flowers and trucks and everything else I've done. So you could do one of those as well. Um, and then two brushes. So you really get every single thing you need except for a cup of water. And that is $25. And if you're in Grace, it's $20. So let me know, just put in the comments if you're interested. You can just let me know and I'll message you or you can message me either way. Okie doke. Now I needed the black for the little music notes and I'm not done with the bird. I'm just kind of getting all my, letting them dry a little bit better. My dog may bark, so you guys bear with me. Somebody's coming in the door, so she usually does. But My mom played the piano in her church for years and years. And um, so music is another thing that is just so my mom. So... I actually just, you know, and I wasn't able to watch any of the videos of her until recently, but I just went one night and watched all the videos that I had of her um, of, since she had lived here with us or by us. Um, and, the, you know, even in memory care, in a memory care facility at very advanced Alzheimer's, she was able to play the piano and, and played it pretty well. Like she did mess up but she sat down, I got out a hymnal, and she could look at the music and somehow either read it or she had memorized it, I'm not sure, and played those hymns. And we were all pretty much in awe, you know, because it was pretty much toward the end that she could still do it. And people would come over and listen, and it was just really neat. Now, she got really stressed out when she messed up. Um, it just kind of freaked her out, and she didn't know what to do. And she thought it was the piano. So she'd mess up and she'd go, oh, I didn't do that. And, you know, things like that. But, um, but you know, it still was beautiful. Of course, we know God thought it was beautiful. And it was just really, I'm so thankful I have those videos. Because um, it was a neat thing to witness. And music is so important to people with Alzheimer's. And guys, um, for anybody that knows someone that has Alzheimer's or dementia, don't forget, don't forget to expose them to the arts, music, painting, um, anything. They even like to help cook, which I mean simple things like mixing or, you know, there are things that they can do and it's kind of like children. Let them do what they're able to do. Don't just not, you know, let them around it, but um, let them do what they can do because it's, it's really, really important to honor them and give them dignity. And we don't want them just, you know, sitting in a chair all day, not doing anything, so. Hi, Marty, how are you tonight? Oh, Tony, can you hear her? She's got a toy in there, huh? She's a mess. Yes, Lisa, we're gonna have a girls retreat one of these days and um, I have all kind of plans going, so someday. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna have to do something with these music notes because they don't show up real well, you see that? Okay, so just to make it fun, oh, and I need a little beak. I guess I'll use this, maybe the salmon color with just a little bit of white or something. And you're seeing the chalk but when everything's dry, you can take a little paintbrush that has nothing on it and just get it a little wet and just kind of brush it around and it'll take all that off. I'll show you. So like this one has not been used. Just dip it in the water just a little bit and then you can 
Let's see if you can see. There's a little paint or a little chalk right there and you just take your brush and it just comes right off. That is still wet. I'm trying to be careful with that, but I'll do these little music notes too. Hope y'all can see that, but it'll just take that chalk right off. So if your background's dark and you use chalk to trace, I just use chalk to draw it, but if you use chalk to trace, you can do that. By the way, if you use chalk to trace, let me show you. So you can take a design and just cover the design with chalk on the back, so have chalk, and then when you turn it over and you trace it, the chalk will leave the chalk line for you to paint. So that's kind of cool. Let's give him a wing. He needs an eye. And then we can decorate. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and do another coat of this green right here. Has anybody made a Mother's Day gift? Thank you, Marty. Oh, Sherry, thank you. I appreciate the stars. That's so, so cool. Thank you so much. It has been a while. Hi, Christina. Oh, your aunt does? I don't think I knew that. Yeah, well, um, we need to, we need to, we need to talk. I'd love to hear more about her and, and what y'all's experience has been. I'm just taking some black and bringing it through this branch. And you can add it into your leaves if you want to. I'm just doing it kind of whimsically. And then we will do our, um, our wing. I'm just kind of, I've, I've actually just been kind of thinking how I want to do them. I don't know if I want little little pieces like this. Hope y'all have a good view. It's really hard to hold it the right way. Thank you, Vicki. How are you tonight? Oh, you made some crosses. I saw some of the stuff you made, Tracy, and you put it in a little uh, gift basket thing. Okay, girls, you, you guys that have made stuff, be sure and send it to me. I want to see. Or you can put it, if, if it lets you, just put it on my page and you can so I can see it. I want to see what y'all are making. Oh, Marty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, I've got a 30-year-old son, so what does that tell you? Debbie is old. Um, how about teal on that last one? Yeah. 
it really humbles you when you realize you've got a 30-year-old son. It's like, what in the world? I don't really feel that much older than 30 myself. I do. Most days I do, but you know what I mean. Your mind is the same. You don't feel, you just, your body might be tired or whatever, but you're just the same person, so it just, it's weird. And you could do this all, all over the bird. You could, you know, just make him as decorated as you want to. Yours is going to be 40. Oh, thank you, Marty. 40, Vicky. See, you, you seem too young, too. We're just, we're just young at heart, so that's okay. We'll... We'll grow old gracefully, right? I'm trying to decide if I want to do anything to the bird himself. What do y'all think? Does he need decoration or does he need just to be more simple and trace him out and see how that goes? Oh, Betty, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Yay, welcome. You have a 37 and a 42. Aw. Wait, they're 17 and 41. So five years apart. Mine are five years too. 25 and 30. So she just, his was May 1st and hers was May 4th. And she was five and a half weeks early. So she was supposed to be a June baby, but she wasn't having it. She came early. And my husband was out of town when I went into labor because we weren't expecting her yet. He had gone, we lived in Oklahoma at the time, and he had gone to the airport in Dallas to pick up friends that were coming to visit. And it was quite a surprise. I was cleaning and, you know, probably had done a little too much, but, but anyway, um, I was so naive, and I mean, I, I, I didn't know. I was like, this can't be. I was really shocked that she came early. And she was pretty healthy when she was born, but then she did have um, a setback within a week and had to go um, to the hospital, and then they thought she had spinal meningitis, and they transferred her by ambulance to a big hospital a couple hours away, and um, she stayed a week there in the NICU and did not have spinal meningitis, thankfully, but she did need more time to, to get healthy. Linda, your daughter's 52. Aw. Samantha, you're so... <laughs> I tell you what. You girls that have young kids, they crack me up. They are so much more, you know, um, I don't know what the word, advanced, or they just, I'm going to have to turn this, guys, because I can't, I want to be sure y'all can still kind of see. Um, they're so sassy. They're just exposed to so much more, you know, and, oh, I don't envy you because it's, it's hard raising kids. When you have them raised, you just kind of sit back thinking, I'm glad it's you and not me because it's it's hard. It was hard when we raised kids, but it's definitely harder for you guys today. And so, you know, lots of prayers, right? That's how we got through it. Lots of prayers and, and having support from friends and family and things. Oh, Tracy, you're not an old mom. You're you're a wise mom, hey. Old me. Yes, Vicky, you definitely stay young with all those. Um, well, with your two twin grandkids, right? Okay. I don't know if y'all can see this um, tracing here, but I'll show you up close in just a second. 
What's your favorite color that I used in here? I just love deco art colors. I mean, I'm sure whatever paint is great, but deco art just happens to be my favorite. That teal. And then I need to do these um, these little letters down here. Now you can, when you do yours, if you wanna do one, you can use a paintbrush and paint or you can grab a marker, like a paint marker. These are uh, Uniposca pens. I don't know if they have any, they're pretty old. I don't really use these much. This one doesn't work. This one does, let me see if it'll work on here. Um, I don't know if it'll work over the chalk. We're just gonna have to test it out and see. They do, but I don't like black. I think it's not gonna make a, it's not gonna show good. So I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll go over it with white. But that's it, super cute. I, um, I may add, I can't decide, but I may add something else. What do y'all think? Hmm. I think I'm going to do something to his wing. But that's, that's it. That's really cute. I think it's a sweet tribute. Once I'm done, I'll post a picture. Um, and I would love for you guys to paint one. If you want the tracer, holler at me and I'll give it to you. And if you're interested in a kit, it doesn't have to be the bird. It can be any design that I do, um, but it comes with the wood palette board that has the hanger on the back. It's 10 by 10 and all the paints and brushes that you need to make your painting. So just leave it in the comments if you're interested. And special price for Grace. So if you're in Grace, you get $5 off. So it's 25 or 20 if you're in Grace. So guys, have a great night. I'm so glad you popped on. I hope that you all have a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. If you don't have your mother, then find someone to encourage. So um, maybe a neighbor, a friend, that's what I do. I, I'm trying to make positive out of, you know, the loss. And so encourage somebody that needs it. Give some love to somebody that needs it. And if you have your mom, then love on her, honor her and because we won't have them forever right girls have a great night and i will see you next time bye